Jesus reconciles us to the Heavenly Father. After our souls, He saved, hearts are cleansed and purified from all sin. Because our Heavenly Father wouldn't fellowship with anyone when sin is still in them. There's no sin Jesus Christ can't take away. If He was powerful enough and able to create the universe, then He is more than able to remove all our sins away. But, but do you believe Him? Do you believe in His power? Why do we believe that He can provide everything that we need, but we don't believe about His power to remove sin? When Christ saves a person that wants to be saved, a transformation takes place. He will remove our old sinful heart and He gives us a new heart, a new spirit, and a new godly nature. No matter how bad or sinful we may have been, we will be cleansed by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. That cheating, stealing, dishonest, and lustful heart will become history in Christ Jesus, transforming power. Being saved is not by having a new religion or doing religious rituals that we are accustomed to doing, but by being crucified with Christ and abiding in Him. Galatians 2.20 You might say, are you saying you are perfect? No, I'm not a perfect person. I make mistakes. But there's a big difference between making a mistake and sinning and continuing in sin and having pleasure doing sin. No, I have no desire to sin because Jesus Christ has taken it all away from my heart when I gave Him control over my life, my all, my mind, my heart, and my soul. Oh, what a wonderful Savior He is. Great example of sin in the heart is someone's purse is unattended and someone steals it. Sin is the master and controls the person's action. A person that is saved, transformed, will not be tempted to steal or cheat even if nobody is looking because sin is no longer in them to do such a thing. Sin has been destroyed and removed from the root, which is from the heart. In every believer, in every heart that believes in the name of Jesus Christ and know who He is, that He is the Son of the living God. And He came for a purpose, for a mission to destroy all sin in every heart. And He's done it at the cross that He may restore a relationship with the Father, that He may reconcile us to the Father. And he's done it at the cross. And if you believe in him, you will be saved and you will be reconciled with the Heavenly Father. Jesus reconciles us to the Heavenly Father after our soul.